Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be replacing the side buttons on the G Pro Wireless. First up, we're going to go ahead and take the mouse apart by removing the skates and the screws on the base. You're probably wondering why I'm timing myself here and it's because I want to see how quickly I can get uh, inside the G Pro Wireless and take it apart. And so far my record is five minutes and 27 seconds as you'll see at the end here. Now I should note that this is just something that I'm doing for fun. I have done it faster, but if you're doing this yourself, make sure you take your time and you really know what you're doing. Watch videos before you go ahead and do anything like this. Now that you've separated the endoskeleton from the shell, we can go ahead and begin. Once you take this screw out, we're going to go ahead and take apart the button assemblies on the side. All you have to do is get underneath here where I'm showing you and push up and it should come straight up. There's no screws or anything holding them in, it should be pretty simple. Now for this ribbon cable here, you want to be careful when you pull it up. The only thing holding it down is some adhesive, but you still want to be very careful because if you break this ribbon cable, your mouse will stop working. And here's your assembly. As for the buttons themselves, there's only two solder joints on either end. You simply get something underneath it and push up on both ends and you should have the button release fairly easy. It's a good idea to use some solder wick to clean up the excess solder because you want a flat surface for the button. As you can see here, there are two holes for the button grooves to sit in. Place them in there and then solder one side and then the other. This doesn't require much solder at all, so very important that the switch is flush with the PCB because it might give you issues later when you do reassemble the mouse. And now we're going to go ahead and put the ribbon cable back on and it goes on the same way you took it off. Again, be very gentle here with this ribbon cable because it can break and then your mouse will stop working. And then finally, all you have to do is just take the switch assembly and just slide it right back into place. And you should hear a nice little click. And that's it. Now you can put the endoskeleton back into the shell and you should be good to go with uh, brand new working side buttons that don't double click. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.